Canada has exceeded my, wi my wildest expectations. And you guys, Canadians, have a lot to be proud of. A safe, welcoming environment, free of stress and worry. Memorial University, giving you the world. I said, uh, okay, well, I don't speak English. She said, why don't you go to Canada and learn English? I was like, okay, sure. And uh, um, he said, you're going to Memorial University in Newfoundland, in Newfoundland, Canada. I was like, where is that? So he pointed at the map and said, you're going right there on this little island. I was like, that's not a little island, that's a huge island. I'll be representing Newfoundland. Imagine an international student is representing Newfoundland abroad on economic on the economic machine to Colombia and Panama. You, could you feel how significant that is for an international student like me to be presenting and meeting with high profile political leaders? This is this is shows what the community can offer for international students. Right? You know, you're equal with everyone else. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm Canadian and uh, oh you are Palestinian. People are not like that at all. You know, you don't feel like people are discriminating against you. You don't feel like, you feel like you're one of them. And, and that's one of the great things about it. And it's one of the great things I really love about this place. You know, my, my next goal is to meet with the Prime Minister, hopefully. And I will, I believe so. When I was in grade 12, I made the decision that I want to do travel abroad. So I thought maybe if I study abroad, I would have the opportunity to travel abroad as well. Um, they were not happy about it <laughs> at first. Safety, that's definitely a big concern for parents, especially if you're an international student. That was my parents' concern as well. So they were more worried about me traveling than my safety, that I'll be fine, doesn't matter what hour of the day I am, where I am. Safety should be the major thing for their child. But at Memorial, uh, we have the Walk Safe and Drive Safe programs, and it's volunteer and free of cost for students. People are fantabulous, really helping and friendly. Doesn't matter if you are at Memorial or out in the city or even downtown area walking across the harbor. Even the cab driver waves you and says hi, what are at. Recently, my dad was here for my graduation as well, and he had the tour from Memorial. He just loved it, and he think that's the best decision I've ever made in my life. Over the summer, the opportunity came up to apply for a research bursary with ACAP Humber um, to do research. It just took me right back to uh, home when I was volunteering the Belize Urban Society and the project that they had worked on, it was the exact same thing. So I felt right back at home and that whole reason why I wanted to do sustainable development came back again, so I got really excited. So I will be doing actually a research uh, on the Bay of Islands, on the Humber Arm. And um, I, I work. I work at the library here, at the First Logic Library at Grenfell. Because of my, um, of my immigration uh, regulations, I can only work a certain amount of hours, so uh, they created a half position for me. And uh, people are here to help you. And even though you might feel intimidated, uh, you get that react. People pick that up from me, especially your professors. And I think that's something that that I'll always take and appreciate. And it's something that I shared with uh, with my mom, and my parents, and they were just so grateful. Memorial University, a safe home away from home. Hey. Welcome home.